Now that I've gone through and explained how to install Docker on Windows and the couple of methods that you have for that, there are also a couple of methods that you have for installing Docker on Linux. Uh, so what we have here, uh, the first option would be sudo apt get install docker.io. Docker.io is the distribution package that you'll find um, on Ubuntu, for instance. Um, I used to install that. That does work. Uh, it is usable, but it's not always uh, the latest version. So I always like to go to the uh, Docker Docker registry or repository the, itself, and um, you have two options there. It's going to be a Docker EE, which is their enterprise version, um, and that's going to have support for stuff like Red Hat, Windows Server, um, but what I want to install here is CE, which is basically their community edition, and that's going to have the support for um, most of your Linux distros, your Mac distros, um, and even Windows 10. Uh, what CE is, is uh, a revision of their old Docker engine. So I think it, Docker engine is what ran behind the scene in Docker Toolbox. <coughs> Anyways, so the first thing we need to do here is do a sudo app get update. Make sure that we are up to date on our packages. And after that, we would like to run this command right here. Is what this is going to do is going to add um, the key that we need to get to the official Docker repository. So let's go ahead and add that. Okay. And then the next thing we need to do is um, do an apt to that repository. Um, <clears throat> stable. Okay. So now that we've done that, let's do another update. This is going to pull down all of the other uh, package caching that we need. And then let's go ahead and check uh, here. So, and we can see that we can see that package docker-ce. So now that we know that the package is available for download, let's go ahead and do that. At install docker-ce. And yes, we do. Once it's downloaded, we can uh, find the status of Docker here by running this command. Um, and that'll tell us uh, Docker's up and running, um, or the engine's up and running, and so we should be good to go here. We can do a sudo doc, docker. We've got our command, sudo docker ps. No, <clears throat> no containers running, of course and we won't see any images, right? Okay, so um, the other thing that we can do, because you'll notice here that I'm doing a lot of sudo, right? Because I have to run it as the administrator. You can run it um, as your main user, but we'll see here. Okay, that'll run. Let me see here, Dr. PS, let's try that. That, that gets denied. So if you want to run it as your main user, you're going to want to run something like this. So sudo user mod a g docker, and then let's do no, do that. Who am I? So I'm just telling it to add my specific user right here. And then you'll notice I can do a docker ps, or I can't. Oh, I have to I have to reconnect to um, my I have to reconnect my session so that it gets refreshed. I'll do that in a second. Um, so you'll also see here, or sorry, if you want to add another user, basically all you do is that same command and then whatever that user's uh, name is that you want to add. So Billy Bob, I don't know, depending on where you're from, what your name is, by all means. Uh, now, let me show you that I'm not crazy and that did work. So let's exit out of this putty terminal. I'm going to open up another one. Give me a second here. Because um, I am running this in a virtual machine to show you guys. OK. 
Okay. And then, so I've got this back and I'm logged back in. So let's go ahead and do a Docker PS now. And now I'm able to access it because I've refreshed my session. So remember to do that if you're seeing any problems, right? And then we can do everything just like we were able to on Windows, Docker, pull Ubuntu. We're gonna grab the latest Ubuntu image. And we have that Ubuntu image. So we got Docker images and there's Ubuntu. Um, I mean, we can run commands. Let's do one last verification command um, run. Let's just do the canned hello world. So we'll just do a docker run hello world just to make sure everything's up and running. And downloaded, and there you go. Hello from docker. Anyways, thanks guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.